Hi there, it's Lucinda again. And Claire here from Pamela and Need, the on-site massage company. We really hope you enjoyed the last video about the 2-1 breathing technique and that it's helped to perhaps alleviate some of the stress and anxiety that you might be feeling whilst working from home, studying or self-isolating during the coronavirus pandemic. If you missed the video, you can catch that on all of our social media platforms. So on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram and on Twitter. We're at Pummel and Need. Our next video is about how to maximise desk setup at home. As we're all going to be working now from home for quite a few weeks, it's really important to look at this to help posture and avoid stresses and strains that are often associated with a bad desk setup. So we're going to give you a few tips and even if you can just do one or two of the tips that we suggest, I think it will really help in the next coming few weeks. First, adjust your chair to allow your elbows to rest gently at a 90 degree angle on the top of your desk. This might mean adding cushions to an existing chair or using something as a footstool if your feet don't touch the floor. Now you'll see Lucinda adjusting her monitor or laptop to arm's length distance away to avoid straining the eyes and bending forward, which would compromise your posture. Next, raise the screen up so the top of the screen is at eye level. This will help avoid neck and shoulder pain, which are often caused as a result of poor posture when sitting at your desk. This can be done by using something around the home, such as books, if your monitor doesn't self-adjust. If you're having to use a laptop at home, adding an external keyboard and mouse means that you can follow these same principles of distance and screen height. Moving on to the keyboard and mouse, these should be placed where your hands have landed in the new 90 degree position. This is to avoid overstretching and you'll see Lucinda demonstrate how to use the mouse moving from the elbow rather than the shoulder in order to prevent overuse injury. Now that we have our desk set up, try to use a headpiece for phone calls. This is really useful as it will free up the hands to carry on typing while you're talking to colleagues. If, however, you have to use a handheld phone, try to avoid cradling the phone like this as it will lead to stresses and strains in the upper body and neck. Sit up straight and try to use the opposite hand to your writing hand as that will mean you are free to carry on writing when needed. As you can see, Claire is now doing some lovely neck stretches and it's really useful to try and include stretches in your daily routine. Claire is now demonstrating a chest opener, which opens the chest but also releases the shoulders at the back. Just simple things like rolling the shoulders front and back really helps. Now, if you can, try to get up as often as possible and walk around, get yourself a drink, a glass of water or a snack. Sometimes it's useful to try and get up once an hour if at all possible, but whatever works best for your routine. So that's it. I really hope the video has given you some useful tips on how to set up your workplace at home. Our next video is going to be looking at self-massage techniques for the neck and shoulders, which should be really amazing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and you can always email us on pummelandneed at gmail.com.